Welcome to Marina's Kitchen. Today I'm going to make some potato croquettes. This is something that you can do when you have some uh, mashed potatoes left over, some peas and carrot that you've done vegetables the night before. It's another way of serving them to the children to have more vegetables. So uh, what you do is I kept them of my mashed potatoes that I did last night. But on this couple of cups here, I didn't put the milk and the butter, I just wanted them dry. I just wanted the mashed potatoes just dry the way they are. I've got salt in the potatoes, so I'm just going to add some, some pepper to it. And then I've got here about a couple of cups, I've got a couple of cups of my peas and carrot that were left over from last night. And uh, I'm just going to add that to the potatoes, so the, you can have another way of using up your vegetables and just give it a, a little mash. You don't want to mash them too much, but I just like to squash them down a little bit. And there, there's about a couple of cups there. And what I'm going to add is my grated cheese. I've got about three quarter cup of my grated cheese there. And, uh, and then I'm going to add all my peas and my carrots to the potato and just mix it up all together. And this is a good way of using up your peas and your carrot that's left over. And the kids will, won't know that they eat it again. And you're, you're making it in a different way. These are potato croquettes, okay? Look, just mix that all together like that. That's beautiful. That potato, the cheese, the carrot and the peas. And make them up in little croquettes and the kids will enjoy them better. Then use up your mashed potatoes and your vegetables. If you've got some peas and carrot left over in little pieces, just mash it up all in the, in the potato like that and make them into lovely little balls. Okay, now that, that's all we've got to do. I'll put some more pepper in it. I've had salt in them when I cook the vegetables, so I don't need to do any more salt in it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I've got here, I've got some plain flour, I've got an egg, I've got an egg that I beat it up and I want to do some, I want to put them through some panko breadcrumbs, okay? But in that panko breadcrumbs I'm going to add a quarter cup of grated cheese, just mix that all together. I, know, I like the panko breadcrumbs for these little potato croquettes, okay? So what we do is I'll just get a little bit like that. I like to do them all before I dip them in the flour and the egg. I like to get a little bit like that. Just roll it up. Look, very easy. And put it in a plate like that. And you get about 20 of them here, or 18 to 20. You don't have to make them too big. Just roll them up like that. Very easy. And... Uh, I like to put them in the oven after about 15 to 20, oh no, about 30 minutes when they get nice and brown. Just keep on doing the same thing like that. Then I'll put them in the flour and the egg and the breadcrumbs. They are very lovely. They are very nice and the, and the children can have that vegetable that's left over. They can have them again, okay? So what we do is just keep on doing it. I like to do them before I keep put them in the flour and the egg. I like to do them all before like that and keep them there. Okay, so just keep on doing the same thing. Very easy to make into a little ball. And these are my lovely potato croquettes. Now just keep on doing the same thing. You get about 20 of them I think here. You get quite a few. But they lovely, uh, hot or cold. They can just eat them any time. Just keep, keep on doing the same thing like that. Keep on doing the same thing. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to put them in the, the flour. First I'm going to do the, all the flour first. Uh, instead of putting them in the egg that you don't have to have all that egg on you. Just put the flour first like that. Put them around like that. And then we'll do them in the egg and then the breadcrumbs. I like the panko breadcrumbs because they come nice and crunchy. Look, all, all you've got to do is do in that. Do this all beforehand. You can have them ready. Put them in the fridge. You can have them ready when you come home from work. 
or wait a lighter on in the evening for an evening meal you can put it just put them in the oven so there just put them in the flour like that and now I'm going to put them in the egg like that just roll them in the egg don't take long just very easy very quick I, I like to do one step at a time so it all gets done okay there you go you do another one with the egg and then I'll put them in the breadcrumbs another one there okay I'll just wash my hands Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to put them in the breadcrumbs, in my panko breadcrumbs, okay? I've had them in the flour, the egg, now I'm going to put them in the panko breadcrumbs. Just like that. Beautiful. Just come like that, a beautiful potato croquette. Okay, lovely. Just roll it like that. I've got, I, all I've got is a bit of cheese in there and some pepper and some panko breadcrumbs, okay? Just roll them in there, put them like that. They, these are very easy to make because I put them in the oven. We don't have to deep fry these. It's very easy to make because they cook very nice in the oven and no trouble at all. Just do, keep on doing the same thing like that. It only take about 30 minutes and when they get nice and brown, that's when you take them out, okay? Look. Just do the same thing like that all the time. Look, I've got two, four, six, eight here, and there's about another eight there. It would probably be about 16 to 18. It all depends. You don't want to make them too big. Look, that's that's how we're going to have them like that. Okay. Now, what I've done is, what you have to do is, I put a little bit of, uh, I put a little bit of oil in a baking dish, okay? Just a little bit of oil in a baking dish. And I've got my oven on for 200. You need a nice hot oven for these because they get nice and brown. So all we gotta do now is just put them in, in this dish with this bit of oil underneath and just put them in like that. And I'm just gonna give them a little bit of a spray on the top, okay? There you go. I'm just gonna put them like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give them a little bit of a spray on the top with that spray oil, like that. And I'm going to put them in the oven for uh, about 30 minutes or until they're nice and brown and crunchy. You can see when they're nice and brown and crunchy, okay? This is some way to use up your mashed potatoes and if you've got some carrot and, bean and peas left over, they are really nice to use up as your vegetables for the children, okay? Now what I did is, I've done mine. I did some before and I put them in the oven before, okay? And look at them, how nice and crunchy they are, look. Lovely and crunchy, lovely, look. Just get them nice and brown like that and good 30 minutes to 30, 30. 30 to 35 minutes and you've got these beautiful, beautiful, lovely potato croquettes. They are really, really nice. Mm. Mm. The panko breadcrumbs are lovely and crunchy. Mm. The kids are gonna like this. You can use up your vegetables this way. Use up your vegetables that way, okay? Mmm, that was nice. So just put them in the oil, on. just put a little bit of oil in, the, in a that baking dish, put them on there, spray them with a little bit of oil on the top, bake them, and then when you take them out, they're lovely and brown like that, and you can have them hot or cold, they're beautiful. So another way of using your mat, but when you're using the mashed potatoes, don't put, keep some dry, don't put your milk and your butter through it, you don't have to and then you can have the vegetables with it and use up your extra vegetables that you have left over that's a good way of doing it so and and they keep very well even even for lunches they're wonderful okay well thank you for watching my videos and have a good day 
I hope you'll like them. This is what we've done there, and this is what they look like. So I hope you like them and try them. Thank you for watching. Bye.